kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Mommy's birthday. Very early one morning, Daddy tiptoed through the house to sneak out the front door. Daddy! <laughs> Where are you going so early? It's Mommy's birthday today, Daddy. Did you forget? Ah. Uh. I would never, ever forget Mommy's birthday, you know. But I left her present back at my office at work. I just need to slip out and pick up the present, then we can all wish her happy birthday. Wait for me, okay? So awesome! <gasps> Shh! Don't wake up Mommy! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the kitty cats were giving Mommy a beautiful drawing they made. It's the prettiest picture ever. What do you think Daddy's birthday present for Mommy is? Well, he said he left the present at his office, and his office is in the middle of a candy factory. I'm guessing it's a yummy cake of some sort. But Daddy brings cake home from work every weekend. And a birthday present is supposed to be special, Pudding. But you know, a cake can be awesome and special. For instance, you could put a letter inside it. What if Mommy accidentally ate the letter, though? Oh. <laughs> you could also hide some fireworks inside a cake so they could fly up and go kaboom! But what if it goes wrong and doesn't fly up? Huh? Ah! Daddy should give her something really special to go with the cake. Something Mommy's really fond of. Mommy's fond of sports. And Mommy's fond of pink clothes. And Mommy thinks flowers are the best. Hey, let's pick a bouquet of pretty flowers. Then Daddy can give them to her as a present. <gasps> but the kitty cats had forgotten that Mommy's birthday was in the autumn. Still, they didn't give up. They looked everywhere for flowers. They looked... and looked. But pretty flowers just don't grow in the autumn. No flowers? What do we do now? <laughs> Daddy can't just give Mommy a cake and nothing else. Hmm... <sighs> Oh, I think I have a really good idea. What if we made a bouquet from different fallen leaves? Because they're really colorful and pretty, aren't they? The kitty cats couldn't wait for Mommy to see the beautiful autumn bouquet. Good morning, everyone. <gasps> morning. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Nothing Happy behind our backs. <laughs> We're waiting to give you your presents until Daddy gets back, all right? Daddy gets back? Where did he go? <laughs> Where's the birthday girl? I have her present right here. <gasps> hey, guys, that's not a cake box. It's a beautiful pink tracksuit. And pretty shoes as well. Yeah, it's all the things you're fond of in one gift. Sports, clothes that are pink colored, and pretty flowers. Oh, darling, thank you so very much. What a perfect present for Mommy. Guess we don't need this bouquet anymore then. We still need it, Pudding. We'll give it to Mommy with our present. Love, Love you, Mommy. Mommy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Time, Time for your birthday, birthday presents. presents. First, there's this picture that we drew for you. <laughs> then this leaf bouquet. Oh, thank you, my little sweeties. Look at them. These are the most wonderful presents that I've ever received. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy had also brought a yummy cake, of course. And Mommy blew out her candles. But she couldn't think of anything to wish for that she didn't already have. Kitty kites! One blustery day, the three kitties were anxiously staring out the window. I would love to go outside if it weren't for the wind. Look at it. You're right. There's no way to read a book in wind like that. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, or play badminton. Oh. Mm. 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 Uh. Uh. Mm. And Miss Kitty Lou's stroller would never stay put. <laughs> Well, kittens, when the wind blows like this, it's the perfect day for a kite. Sounds great. I think that we should fly kites today. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats wanted to make their kites all by themselves, so they asked Mommy and Daddy for all the supplies they would need. I think our kite should be super big, guys. Nah, because that'd be too heavy. If it's small, it'll fly higher. We really need to have lots of bows in the tail, right? Bows aren't aerodynamic. We should have ribbons. Not having a tail at all would probably make it fly faster. I don't want a fast kite. I want a great big one. I want bows to be on the tail, not just ribbons. Well, I'm going to make my kite the way I want. Then so am I. So the kitty cat house turned into a kite factory. And all three kites came out quite differently. Big with a little tail. Small with a long tail. And medium with no tail at all. The kitty cats took their kites to the top of a hill along with some friends. Yay! Just watch how it's really done. Looks like it's my turn then. The disappointed kittens went home. The wind is so strong that it made flying our kites impossible. <laughs> the problem might not be the wind. Perhaps the kites that you made weren't quite right for flying. We couldn't agree what the kite should look like, so we each made our own instead. Hey, let's use all our ideas. We can work together to make one perfect kite. But we'll agree on a plan for everything, all right? That is a great idea. And Daddy... Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be more than happy to help you, kittens. I will? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> With Mommy and Daddy's help, the kitty cats worked together and made a wonderful kite. But when they got to the top of the hill, the wind had stopped. We'll never fly our perfect awesome kite now. <laughs> Hooray, the wind! Everybody ready? All right then, let's go flying. Ready, set, whee! <laughs> All right, let her fly! <laughs> It was truly wonderful to see the kites soaring high in the sky. Even more special because the kitty cats had made it together. Sunday. Early one Sunday morning, Mommy was going to the gym, leaving cookie, candy, and pudding at home with Daddy. Uh, uh. I'm off to my exercise class. Have a nice time. I'll take great care of the kittens. Will you be all right without me? We'll be just fine, Mommy. Yeah, we're never, ever bored with Dad. Yes, you're right about that. Bye, my loves. Dad! 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 Let's play with my dollies. Hey, Dad, let's play some chess. And darts. Uh, all right, my wonderful children. It'll be dollies, chess, and darts. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But where was Daddy? Come on! Are you going to play with us? 
Yeah, I'm coming, my beautiful children. Here's the plan. Miss Kitty Lou needs to try on all these pretty new dresses. Mm -hmm. Here, I've got the chessboard. I'll be white. Mm. Magnetic darts! Here, Dad, just hold the board. Sounds like tons of fun. Okay, here we go. Hooray. Oopsie. <sighs> oh, no, Dad's gone back to Sleepy Town. So the kind-hearted kitties let their hard-working dad have a well-deserved nap. Sort of. Wakey-wakey. Tickle, 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 tickle. tickle, tickle. tickle. Oh, Tommy Rob. Mm. How are we ever going to wake him up? I've got a great idea that just might do it. Oh, Daddy, water you sleeping for? But pudding, <laughs> if he gets all wet, he could catch a cold. <laughs> well, we could find something super crazy, massively loud, and put it next to him. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Give him a horrible scare. How, How should, should we, we wake, wake him, him then? then? Maybe we just shouldn't. Why don't we all be nice to him and let him have his nap? When he wakes up, he'll have lots and lots of energy for playing games with us. Good, Good idea. idea. Meow, 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 meow. Nighty night. Hmm. So do you think he's slept enough yet? Not quite yet. And now? Well, I guess he might have. Can't really tell. Then shouldn't he be waking up? Stand back. I got this. Hello? If they ask, I'm in the factory doing a toffee inspection. Nap time. <sighs> I've got an awesome idea. When Mommy sings me lullabies, I rest way better. Why don't we sing Daddy one? <laughs> Quiet kitties, Dad's asleep. Please don't purr or make a peep. Tired Daddy, close your eyes. I see your playing with Daddy wasn't boring at all. Wake up, my sleepy heads. Mom's here. Oh. Uh-huh. I'm 100% awake, rising and shining. <laughs> hey, get up, kids. Oh, can we sleep just a bit longer? Because it is Sunday, after all. Well, I suppose. Just keep on sleeping. But me and Daddy will be having an awesome time outside, tossing this wonder disc oh, around. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> what? You got us a wonder disc? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whether taking a little nap or playing together, Sunday is a wonderful family day. <laughs> a muddy good time. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were so happy to discover that the snow had finally melted. We've been waiting for this. And it's finally here! You mean the sunshine? Nah, the new seesaw's here! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dibs on first try! Yeah! <laughs> no! Watch out, Cookie! The new seesaw was in the middle of a big puddle of sticky, icky mud. Just think how muddy and gross we'll get if we try to walk across that. If Daddy were here, we'd be just fine. He'd pick up the three of us and carry us over there. But Pudding, Daddy can't help us. He's at work now. Oh. Huh? Hello? Oh, that's right. I'm at work at the factory. Hey! Let's use stilts to walk across the mud. <laughs> Do you have any better suggestions, Cookie? Well, we could also sail across the mud on something. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 What'll we do? Hey, I know how we can get across. It isn't deep. Take a look, boys. Some rubber boots are all we need to get across it. 
Now the kitty cats had smiles on their faces and rubber boots on their feet. But Cupcake and Smudge wanted to get to the new seesaw, too. Come on, Cupcake! Watch out, Smudge! I won't look as beautiful if I'm covered in mud. <gasps> Meow! Yucky mud. Candy, would you like to try it first? Yeah, thanks, Cupcake! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Just please make sure you don't splash mud on my boots. <laughs> oh no! There's mud everywhere! It even got on smudge all the way over there! <laughs> don't laugh! Look at my dress! And my shirt! <laughs> hey, Pudding, don't cry! I'll clean it off with puddle water! Unfortunately, adding water just made more mud. Now I'm even dirtier. <laughs> well, since we're already completely dirty, I say that it's mud angel time, guys! <laughs> Cookie, I'm sorry, but that is just gross. Guys, Mom is gonna be so upset that we got our clothes this dirty. It's not our fault that there's mud. Well, maybe we should wait for the mud to dry before we play outside. How long is that going to take? Uh... I think it should be dried out by summer. Oh, wow. Looks like you had a really good time. We're really sorry that we got all covered in mud. But don't worry. We've decided to stop going outside. At least not until summertime. You're not going outside until summer? <laughs> oh. oh, Mommy. You're just as muddy as us. True. But a little mud never hurt anyone. But isn't your dress ruined now? Not at all. Just a little dirty. But the washing machine will clean it all right up. Hooray! Let's hear it for the wonderful washing machine! <laughs> yes, clothes can be washed, but getting them dirty on purpose isn't great. You could end up sick that way. So we don't have to wait inside till the mud dries? Of course not. Going outside is good for you, even when there's mud. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's when Daddy came home. At least they thought it was Daddy under all that mud. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the car got stuck in the mud, so I had to get out and push. All this mud makes the kitty cats look more like piggy cats. <laughs> <laughs> The washing machine cleaned their muddy clothes right up. <laughs> then they headed back outside for more family fun. And no one minded getting a little bit grubby. Space Adventure! One evening it was snowing so hard that the kittens had to stay in. So bored. We have to find something to do. But what though? Hey, look! The snow kind of looks like falling stars. Let's imagine we're floating in space. Oh. Awesome. Listen up. We're going on a cosmic adventure. All right. We'll fly with the stars. So, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Well, there's no gravity in space, so we should be floating. Ha, great idea. Let's do it. Gosh, trying to float is really hard. I'm getting worn out fighting gravity. Whew. Then why don't we build a spaceship to fly around in? The kittens used Mommy's yarn box as the ship's body. Then they found some card to use as wings and gathered a funnel, a whisk, and some bagels and stuck them all onto the box. Finally, their spaceship was ready to fly. This is your space captain speaking. Prepare yourselves for takeoff. Space navigator here, ready to take off, sir. Spaceship, uh, uh, mechanic? Starting up the engine, sir. Uh, uh we're, we're flying! flying. <laughs> <laughs> Comet storm directly ahead, sir. <laughs> Space monsters! <laughs> Mommy! Daddy! We thought that you were alien space monsters! <laughs> what have you?
you crazy kittens been doing? Oh, we're just having a big space adventure. It looks more like a big woolly mess. You'd better start sorting it out. It's almost your bedtime. But what about our super cool spaceship? This is our life's work, this ship. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, please. This is Mission Control calling Astro Kittens. I have an important mission that only the best kittens can handle. This space debris must be cleaned up quick, or else it might crash into the cat colony. Do you copy? Over. Loud and clear. The Astro Kitties accept the mission. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with all these comets? We'll transport them to Planet Cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen floor asteroid field! Let's put them back into their proper drawers. Uh, I mean, back into orbit. Look at these paper meteors! Oh no, they're scattered everywhere! Let's get them to the space station library! Wow, look at them go! And all of this icky space litter needs to be thrown into the garbage bag black hole! That's a lot of space, space garbage. garbage. I know what has to be done. We have to take it on a spacewalk outside. It's cold out in space. You'll all need your spacesuits. Yay, we saved the cat colony from the space trash. <laughs> it's a bunch of weird space monsters. <laughs> nah, it's just us, Daddy. We've totally completed our mission. That's just great. It's time to get ready for bed. Then I'll come tell you a story about the cosmos. Including three astro kitties. So, so awesome! awesome. Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow. Mommy and Daddy made a very special starry sky in the kitten's room. And the kittens listened to their dad's Astro Kitty stories and looked forward to dreams that would be out of this world. Aliens. One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad, because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him, too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations hmm? from space, Earthling. Huh? We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi. I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. 
<laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. It's we're late. Lunch. Yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please. Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Kittens go diving. One day, Daddy took the kitty cats to visit their grandpa, who worked and lived in a lighthouse. Hey there, my kittens. Hi, Hi Grandpa. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Meow, my boy. You can just head off to the factory, and we're gonna have a fun time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha <laughs> ha! Ocean's very calm today, which is great because we'll all be able to go swimming underwater. What is Grandpa talking about going underwater? How's that gonna work? I don't see a submarine around. Hey hey! So, are you ready? It's scuba diving time! Wait, it's what time? Diving time! We're going scuba diving underwater! <gasps> but how will we breathe, Grandpa? You're going to have special containers with air in them! How are we going to see underwater, Grandpa? With special underwater masks! But won't moving be hard? Nope. You'll have flippers for that, along with these swanky special rubber outfits. Scuba diving takes a lot of stuff. Why swim underwater at all? It's awfully wet down there. We're looking for a beautiful, precious, special seashell over near that rock. Last huh? one in's a rotten hairball. Come on. <gasps> <sighs> Kittens, I'm waiting. Let's go. <sighs> Under the water, the kittens felt like they were light as a feather. <laughs> a sea monster bit my tail. <laughs> Pudding, it's only a little crab. It's no big deal. Come back in. Nah, I think I've had enough of diving, Grandpa. Know what, Pudding? You're right. I'm with you. If I'm underwater, I'll never get a tan. Well, fine then. I'll just find that beautiful groovy shell all by myself. <laughs> Later, the kittens were using Grandpa's binoculars to look all around. Wow, look at the mountains there with all those little birds. Hey, let me see. And me! Paws off! Give Give them. Them. I'm not done! <gasps> oh. <gasps> Oh, no! Grandpa's gonna be furious. <laughs> <gasps> I have a really good idea. 
We could go scuba diving for them. <laughs> that is a great idea. Jump in. Grandpa kept an eye on the kitty cats, pleased as punch that they were realizing how awesome diving could be. Do you like diving after all? It's great. Look what we found. I found some really awesome treasure. And I found this pretty shell. Oh, that is exactly the kind of shell that I was hoping to find. I should be taking scuba diving lessons from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandpa, why were you looking for a seashell like that? What does it do? Why, this shell has the sound of the whole ocean inside it. So beautiful. Mm. There, put it to your ear. Scuba diving is not a simple thing to do, but the kitty cats learned that if you stick with it, you can find some truly wonderful things. Movie makers. One day, Cookie Candy and Pudding were excited about a new project. What's that noise? Sounds like a whale. It's Daddy! Uh -huh. Oh, hi, kids. We really want to make a movie, but don't know how. Oh, well, you're going to need a director and a scriptwriter and a camera person. But, but what, what do those words mean? Well, a screenwriter makes up the story. A director tells the actors what to do. And the camera person records it all on the camera. Hey, I like to make up stories. And I like to tell people what to do. <laughs> I guess that makes me the cameraman. Uh, only I don't exactly have a camera. Don't need one. Nowadays, you can make a movie on a phone. Mommy! We're gonna make a movie. Can we pretty please borrow your phone to use as our movie camera? Of course. Just uh -huh. don't lose it. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The cast of the movie has arrived. Boris, Chase, uh -huh. and Cupcake. Meow. What's with these costumes? Our movie's supposed to be about pirates. Well, I'm the beautiful and perfect pirate princess. And I'm a pirate alien from the planet R. Pew, pew, pew. I, of course, am a traditional pirate clown. I'll be in my trailer. We can make it work, but first, we'll need a ship. A broom and a bedsheet turned the sofa into a fine sailing vessel. Well, is the camera on? Uh, uh-huh. All right, then, action. Action means do something, otherwise the movie will be a snore. Hey, what if we rock the boat like we're in some kind of storm? <laughs> oh, I can jump too, because I'm a clown after all. <laughs> and I can fall down without hurting myself. Cut! Um. What on earth was that? Whoops, I think our ship must have sunk. Pew, pew! How am I supposed to work like this? Wait till you hear what happens next. Whale attack! But who will play the part of the whale? Who else? He'd been practicing whale noises in his sleep all day. Daddy was a natural. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a whale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's time for my song now. <sighs> huh? Hey, Granny's not supposed to be in the movie. Oh, I see, it's a phone call. Hello, Granny. No, it's not Mommy, it's just Pudding. I'm making a movie. Pudding, darling, help. <gasps> the forest is a peaceful place. It's silent and serene. And lovely as my furry face. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> 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 hey, Pudding, did you get all that? I don't know, because I lost Mom's phone. Uh-oh. Mom's going to be upset about that. we got to find it. Our movie's on it! Well, that's where my dance shoes went. Down the barbecue floor. I got it. No, that's a worm. No, no luck. luck. 
What am I going to say to Mommy? <laughs> I think I have an idea for this scene, but I'll need the whale's telephone. <laughs> Candy's idea was a good one. <gasps> and the movie camera was found. <laughs> that evening, they held a big movie premiere. What'll we do if they don't like our movie? Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we now present High Seas High Chase. Attention, please, everyone. This movie has been awarded the coveted prize for Best Picture of the Year. Amazing! <laughs> Would the filmmakers please come forward to receive their delicious award? And that is how Cookie, Candy, and Pudding made a movie masterpiece and won the Academy Award. A whale of a time. One day, Daddy wanted to take a picture of a great big whale to enter in a wildlife magazine photo contest. So the whole family went out on Grandpa's boat. <laughs> Okay, big smiles. Hmm. Yo ho! <laughs> Are we all ready for an ocean adventure? Oh yeah! yeah. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Giant whales, come on! It's picture time. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Oh, I'm hearing things. Oh, I'm not feeling very good. Oh, no, Pudding. It looks like you have seasickness. What does that mean? Seasickness? Is Pudding going to grow a tail like a little fishy? Hi. Huh? Ah! Or maybe Pudding will just turn into a cup of ocean water. Uh -huh. oh, I don't want to become ocean water. I already feel sick. Cookie, Candy, please stop scaring your brother. Seasickness is just when someone gets an upset tummy from rocking on the waves. Hey, Pudding, you just need a distraction. Why don't you try to catch us something yummy to have for lunch? But if you catch a big whale, be sure to give me a yell. Fishing helped Pudding feel much better. Whale! Whale! Uh, uh, I was too late. Candy was helping Mommy get ready to serve lunch. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you should probably feed these hungry seagulls, or we'll be left with no lunch at all. <laughs> Yay! Uh. Oh, I missed my chance again. <gasps> Cookie went to the bridge to see Grandpa drive the boat. <laughs> the thing to remember is to hold the wheel steady so the boat stays right on course. Cookie, here, give her a try. Ha! <sighs> <sighs> huh, this is great! I'm really driving the boat, Grandpa! Huh? <sighs> The thing to remember is to hold the wheel so the boat stays on course. Suddenly, the weather changed and the wind rocked the boat. him again. Oh, cookie, oh, I just keep holding the wheel steady, okay? Uh, I won't let go! Uh, Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Soon the wind died back down and the boat stopped rocking. Uh. Oh. Now that was a peaceful nap. Looks like the ocean stayed peaceful then. Yay for Captain Cookie! Wonderful driving! <laughs> okay, big smiles. Oh, I think I've got one. Oh! oh. 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 
Everybody. <laughs> Taking a photo of the whale was much harder than Daddy expected. But with the help of the whole family, he got a better picture than he ever could have imagined. Packing a bag. One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. <laughs> Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, towel, shower cap, soap, and bath sponge, hair dryer! <laughs> We have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. <laughs> right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates and forks, spoons and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. <laughs> Great! What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Yay! We're the best! We got Daddy all packed up! Daddy! Goodness! Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. Well, uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh, oh! I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Thanks, but now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens. Thank <laughs> you.